Hello everybody, in today's video we'll be thinking about carbohydrates and specifically uh, glucose. Now, um, glucose is what we call a hexose monosaccharide. Hexose meaning six carbon and then glucose exists on its own uh, in, a one, uh, in a one six carbon um, compound. And now there are di two different types of glucose molecules. There is alpha and there is beta. Um, the only difference is that the hydroxyl group is the other way around, and this is what they look like. Now, as you can see, the only difference between them is the fact that um, the hydroxyl group are on different situ uh, different places. So if we think about the uh, molecule as uh, this is carbon one, and this is carbon two, three, four five and six uh, the carbon on the first uh, sorry the hydroxyl on the c1 carbon um, it's below the ring and whereas in the beta glucose it's above the ring so again um, this is the only difference between them and that they can also form different um, uh, compounds uh, sorry different molecules as well uh, and we will be looking at the specific structures of them now, glucose molecules form what we call glycosidic bonds um, uh, between the different uh, glucose molecules. Specifically, uh, there will be two types that uh, you need to know. One is uh, between carbon 1 and 4, and the one other one is between carbon 1 and 6, um, hence the terms 1, 4 or 1, 6 glycosidic bonds. Now, the way that they form these bonds are through uh, uh, reactions called condensations. And as the name implies, as uh, it's the same as uh, if you take a shower uh, um, uh, and you've used hot water, the hot water will condense on the mirror surface and becomes water droplets. And in a condensation reaction, water a water molecule is formed uh, in each of these reactions. So this is what we're called. It, this is when two glucose molecules join up together. So when they join up, also produce water molecule. And when they break down the glycosidic bond, uh, they do so by a reaction called hydrolysis. Um, again, it's in biology quite often is you need to think about the name hydro meaning water, lysis meaning breaking down. So basically breaking down using water. So let's say that we have two um, uh, alpha glucose molecules and to just to make it nice and simple I'm just gonna skip the rest of the molecule and just do it this way and I only draw the hydroxyl groups are involved in this particular case so the hydroxyl group between um, C1 and C4 they, they come close together and they sort of react with one another um, and what happens is uh, one hydroxyl group will almost steal the hydrogen from the other hydroxyl group and then they go off and form the water molecule. So this is what happens in this case and this is what we mean by condensation. And so what you'll get in the end is a product that looks like this. So the hydroxyl group from this side steals the hydrogen from this this hydroxyl group and it goes off to form water and then the remaining oxygen in this case will then join up the two alpha glucose molecules together and this is what we called the 1,4 um, uh, uh, glycosidic bond here and again it's because it's formed between C1 and C4 of the two molecules, hence why it's called 1,4 glycosidic bonds. Now the reaction can happen in the opposite direction um, and in this case, you use the water molecule to break, so the water comes in and sort of then, and there's obviously electron transfer here, and then they join up, uh, uh, join up with this glycosidic bond, splitting them up into two uh, alpha glucose molecules again. And then this reverse reaction is what we call the hydrolysis reaction. And that's it. In a simple way, that's how glycosidic bonds are formed and broken down. Now. If this 1,4 glycosidic bonds continued on uh, for all of the alpha, other alpha glucose molecules, what you'll then end up is a straight chain. Now, there's another type of uh, glycosidic bond which is called 1,6, and uh, this is kind of how it's made. Now, in this case, the same way 
uh, as before, we have two alpha glucose molecules. Now, I've, again, I've only drawn the uh, hydroxyl groups that are involved in this case. Now, compared to before, when we have the two uh, alpha glucose molecules sitting next to each other, this time we have one here and the other one that's kind of diagonally placed. But uh, even though they are placed slightly differently, it's the same concept. Uh, again, let's name the different um, carbon number them rather. So this time we've got the hydroxyl group in um, in C6 in this case and the hydroxyl group C1 coming near one another. Since one hydroxyl group uh, reacts with the other one as sending off the hydrogen to uh, make water so that kind of escapes out to make water on its own and so the two um, glucose molecules join up in this case again in the condensation reaction uh, uh, to become a disaccharide. Uh, so the glycosidic bond is formed between carbon 1 and carbon 6, hence this is what we call the 1,6 glycosidic bond. If you imagine that this continues on, um, if let's say uh, there's this molecule coming this way and then there's 1,4 glycosidic bonds forming on either side of this uh, glucose molecule, that means you get one straight chain with just one four glycosidic bonds, and the one six glycosidic bond then uh, allows a branch to be formed from that straight chain. So we say that one four glycosidic bonds uh, forms straight chains of glucose molecules, whereas one six forms branches. So it kind of looks like this. So we imagine the glucose molecules join up by one four glycosidic bonds, and then we've got. 116 there and then consecutive 14s, 116 to do the branch and then all the other 14s. And this is the basic structure of um, amylopectin which is one of the components of starch and we'll talk about that in another video.